so I'm the, um, the RAS liaison to the General Surgery Coding and Reimbursement Committee. Um, this is actually, um, I put the, the listing up here of the, the who we are again. Um, I will say this is probably one of the more niche uh, groups of the entire college when it comes down to um, what our focus, in fact, actually is. It's pretty broad, um, but the, the premise of this group is actually to, to focus a little bit on, on not only the, the work we do as surgeons, but making sure that that work that we do is actually valued appropriately and that we are reimbursed appropriately uh, for things we do. Um, aside from that roster listing there, I'm going to keep this fairly short this evening, but really the GSCRC is a group of surgeons, college leaders, and consultants who really are the collective experts on coding and reimbursement issues for the American College of Surgeons. Um, especially most folks in the RAS, um, we're, we're so far removed, especially as trainees, from any of the world of, of coding and DRGs and CPT codes and work RVUs and all those pieces of the puzzle, but really once you get out in the real world, you understand that all of those pieces are extremely important. Um, I would say this is probably the group at most who is the most willing to admit that medicine and surgery in general is a business. Um, and we do this not only to take care of patients, but there's also um, compensation that should come along with that. Um, and so really to compile that group, there are consultants that we contract with, a, a group of college leaders who look at these things, as well as a group of surgeons with really a broad array of backgrounds um, that really do cover much of the entire house of surgery. So I serve on the GSCRC um, as a general surgeon for RAS, but I also serve in a kind of similar role with the STS for their coding and reimbursement committee. And what you learn is it's really a small group of people who do this across the entire uh, house of surgery. Um, but it really is a group with a very specialized knowledge base um, of the college that has served in these capacities really for decades. Folks you see all the time um, at the, the meetings, Leadership and Advocacy Summit, we learn those are the same folks that are really doing a lot of this work uh, with the GSCRC. So what we do, well, it's a multi-pronged uh, committee. We help develop and monitor specific legislative agenda items that are specific to, to reimbursement issues, especially from CMS. Uh, we provide guidance and expertise both to the CPT and the RUC committees for surgical content, uh, and the members of our group actually sit as advisors to CPT and RUC. And this is really important as they make decisions on how we value what we do, how we define the CPT codes, how we come up with the vignettes for which codes coach for which uh, procedures, and how we ultimately get paid. Um, on the newer end of things, we also provide pretty valuable input to the college on this new idea of value-based reimbursement plans, especially those that have been sought out with MIPS uh, and MACRA. We're kind of the group that a lot of that is vetted through. Uh, one of the other roles that we have is to really assist surgeons and practices in determining solutions for difficult coding and billing. So there's always a way to reach out with the leadership of this committee. They will often send out uh, emails to the committee with operative notes or, um, you know, questions about specific coding. Um, and we also are very in tune with the changes that are coming, such as just happened with all the, the hernia codes. A lot of the content that was put out on that was all from the GSCRC. Um, we provide opinions and feedback to CMS on all the proposed legislative policy regarding reimbursement, similar to what HPAG does as well. Uh, our stuff a little bit more specific to, uh, to some of the payment pieces. And then we begin to develop plans for um, what we're looking at now is really a value analysis for surgeons. So some of the idea of um, how we as a, a committee can start putting packages together to support the members of the college in determining what their true value is. It's, it's not just a, uh, a pie in the sky, a, a box that you can't look into anymore, especially in the world of fair market value as a lot of surgeons are now employed. Um, the college is really starting to, to bite off uh, a little bit into looking at how we determine what our own values are. So really with this group, it's, it's really an interesting way of getting engaged with the group uh, because the content is pretty niche. Um, but there are a lot of online coding and billing, uh, you know, websites and bulletin articles and things like that that you can find, especially around the hernia codes. And, 
uh, somehow that just changed. The website was recently redesigned, and now we have a lot of stuff uh, that's out there for practice management modules. Uh, so to, to give your offices and, and those places a little bit more of a robust resource on how to manage uh, the practice piece of, of being a surgeon. We do have some online coding and billing seminars, and those videos that were recorded are also available on the website. Um, there are always coding courses at the Clinical Congress that are specific and general. Uh, they do a trauma course. They do kind of a general surgery course. And then, as I mentioned, the group is always available for questions regarding difficult coding situations or reimbursement issues uh, that may arise. And so I would encourage you, um, as you know, these issues may arise not only now but in the future, make sure your practice managers have the, uh, the contact information for the, uh, for the staff people associated with this group, Vanita, Lauren, Foe, um, and if they ever have issues, they can reach out and get all that information to the members of the group, and we weigh in and ultimately try to come up with the best case uh, answer for those questions. That really kind of concludes it for my end. I wanted to keep it kind of generic because we can get way down in the weeds on a whole lot of topics, but I wanted to kind of leave this pretty broad in terms of all that we touch.